<laughs> oh, wow. Well, the first comments from Chris Rock tonight after he was hit in the face by Will Smith live at the Oscars. I don't have like a bunch of shit about what happened. So if you came to hear that, I'm not, I had like a whole show I wrote before. <laughs> Chris Rock has furiously reacted to Will Smith in his latest message, responding to Will Smith's slap on him at the Oscars 2022 just a few days ago. Although Chris Rock's initial reaction appeared quite tame when it came to Will Smith's behavior, his latest message was left in a highly furious tone. Moreover, the host Chris Rock also explained the reason for his behavior and left no stone unturned in bashing Will Smith for his actions. So what exactly did Chris Rock say regarding the situation? lately and how could things develop from this point? Moreover, what exactly went down during the Oscars? Let's find out in this video. Keep my wife's name out your mouth! I'm going to! Chris Rock has finally spoken up on what occurred at Oscars 2022. After numerous celebrities had already weighed in on Will Smith's incident with the comic, Rock himself addressed the subject for the first time at his stand-up concert in Boston when he spoke to the crowd about what occurred and made a brief remark to Meek before his show. Chris Rock isn't in the mood to pull down Will Smith after getting smacked by the actor on Oscar stage and so while addressing the event for the first time, the comic didn't have much to say. Rock Rock opened up his new stand-up act in Boston by immediately addressing the Oscars issue after he earned a standing ovation from the crowd. Speaking up regarding the Oscars confrontation, he then stated, How was your weekend? I don't have a bunch of shit about what happened. So if you came to hear that, I have a whole show I wrote before this weekend. I'm still kind of processing what happened. So at some point, I'll talk about that shit. And it will be serious and funny. According to Variety, an audience member during his concert screamed, Fuck Will Smith, Chris still kept quiet and merely replied, I'm going to tell some jokes, it's nice to just be out. Apart from Rock, lately Oscars 2022 hostesses Amy Schumer and Wanda Sykes also addressed the event during their recent interviews and described the whole scenario of Will Smith stepping up to the stage and smacking Chris as sickening. Will Smith was asked to leave the Oscar ceremony after hitting Chris Rock, but refused the Academy says. The event's organizing body also said it had initiated disciplinary proceedings against Smith. Smith slapped Rock after the comic made a joke about his wife Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head, a result of the hair loss condition alopecia. The actor, who won the first Oscar of his career at the ceremony, has since apologized. In his statement, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences said, Mr. Smith was asked to leave the ceremony and refused, but we also recognized we could have handled the situation differently. It also announced it had initiated disciplinary proceedings against Mr. Smith for violation of the Academy's standards of conduct. This include inappropriate physical contact, abusive or threatening behavior, and compromising the integrity of the Academy, it said. The Academy said action might be taken at its next board meeting on April 18th. That may include suspension, expulsion, or other sanctions. He also apologized directly to Rock, as well as nominees, guests, and viewers. Meanwhile, Rock has also revealed that he is still processing the incident in his first public comments since the ceremony. How was your weekend? He jokingly asked the crowd at a stand-up show in Boston before saying he did not plan to address the incident at length. I'm still processing what happened, so at some point I'll talk about that. Rock told the crowd, It'll be serious, it'll be funny, but right now I'm going to tell some jokes. Reacting to the Academy's statement, Jimmy Kimmel, who hosted the Oscars in 2017 and 18, stated on his talk show, Usually when someone's asked to leave and refuses to go, that's when security comes in and takes that person away. But in this case, they decided to give him an Oscar and let him back on stage to speak. One of this year's co-hosts, Wanda Sykes, said she found the incident sickening and that it was gross that Smith was allowed to stay to accept his award. I physically felt it, and I'm still a little traumatized by it," she told talk show host Alan DeGeneres. And for them to let Smith stay in that room and enjoy the rest of the show and accept his award? I was like, how gross is this? This sends the wrong message. Furthermore, he continued to emphasize his statement and revealed, 
if you assault somebody, you get escorted out the building. And that's it. But for them to let him continue, I thought it was gross. She also informed DeGeneres she had spoken to Rock after the show. The first thing he said was, I'm so sorry. I was like, why are you apologizing? He was like, it was supposed to be your night. You and Amy and Regina were doing such a great job. I'm so sorry this is not gonna be about this. Sykes said Rock told her. Oscar nominees actress Mimi Driver said that the Academy had not addressed why Rock was abandoned by producers during the program. On Monday, yet another other former Oscars host, Whoopi Goldberg, who is one of three governors in the Academy's acting division, said, We're not going to take that Oscar from him. There will be consequences, I'm sure, but I don't think that's what they're going to do. Particularly because Chris said, Listen, I'm not pressing any charges. The Hollywood Reporter editor at large, Kim Masters told BBC Radio 4's Today program on Thursday that some high-profile Academy members have vowed to quit if very serious actions are not taken against Smith, and there was a lot of pressure to oust him from the Academy. In the past, Harvey Weinstein and Roman Polanski were among the personalities that have been removed from the Academy but were not deprived of the Oscars they earned. Masters said the Academy had been vague in its depiction of what had transpired during Sunday's event. But she also added, obviously, if they had tried to get him to leave immediately and he had resisted, which they said he did, that could have led to a nightmarish scenario with a live television show. It wasn't something where they could stop recording, so you know you have to have a certain amount of sympathy in real time with a live show trying to reckon with this. It is no secret that celebrities had differing responses when it came to what actually happened during the show. While some supported Will Smith's actions, others spoke very harshly regarding the physical assault. One fan wrote, Just imagine if Will Smith had gotten up to hit Chris Rock and then the camera had cut out and didn't come back until Will won the Oscar and he gave the same speech. You'd want someone to investigate the missing tape, right? Now imagine Will Smith was launching a coup. Another person wrote, I don't usually voice complaints about Hollywood because it's been very good to me, but after Will Smith slapped Chris Rock in front of the world and then got a standing ovation for his award, I was disgusted beyond words. Get your shit together, Hollywood. Violence is not an option. It can also be particularly interesting to look at what actually happened during the Oscars. Let's have a look. It absolutely seemed like Will Smith just smacked Chris Rock in the face in defense of his wife at the Oscars. During Sunday's 2022 Oscars awards ceremony, Chris Rock, who was presenting the winner for Best Original Documentary, made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith being in G.I. Jane due to her shaved head and green clothing. Pinkett Smith is open about her difficulties with alopecia, an autoimmune illness that causes bald patches and hair loss. In an instant response, Pinkett Smith shook her head and Will Smith chuckled. But immediately after that, Smith went on stage, smacked Rock, and stormed off the stage. The audio suddenly cut on the feed, but in the unedited discussion through Japanese television on Twitter, Rock exclaimed, Oh wow, wow, after getting hit. Will Smith just smacked the s out of me. Rock had said, Keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth, Smith yelled. Wow, dude! Yes, Smith responded. It was a G.I. Jane joke, Rock said. Keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth, Smith repeated. I'm going to, okay, Rock said. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> then Rock went on to reveal the quest love won the Oscar for Best Original Documentary. According to Variety, Smith's publicist came up to Smith during the commercial break and the two had a talk. Also, during a commercial break, Denzel Washington took Smith aside to chat with him. During Smith's acceptance speech after winning the Oscar for his role as Richard Williams in King Richard, Smith stated Washington taught him, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. Keeping their past histories in mind, what are your thoughts regarding that day's developments? Do you think Chris Rock was in his right to make a joke about Jada's boldness? Should Will Smith have avoided the physical hit he landed on Rock? Do share your thoughts in the comments below.